hello good morning and welcome to the dailies where we keep you updated with the happenings from the nigerian newspaper quite interesting stories on our papers as we're saying that labor is actually you know threatening to go on strike concerning the invitation that their chairman the president nigeria received we know that he actually um went to the station yesterday so they are saying that if he's arrested or he's being held um in custody they are threatening to shut down the economy and go on strike so we are just keeping our fingers crossed to see how this whole thing will turn out to be we have other interesting stories on the paper which we would love you to be part of drop your comment your views on any of the story that is of interest to you and i have rachel with me we're doing the program together good morning, good morning all right we shall run through the paper starting with the metrics newspaper on the metric newspaper, COP29, federal government to save over 10 billion naira after cutting down expenses, says presidency. Phil Folding called Palmer win big at PFA awards. Local government autonomy, federal government moves to enforce Supreme Court's judgment. Akume, Fabemi, Bagudu, Edun, Kadoso, five others make 10 member committee. Why federal government cannot force us to sell crude to Dangote and others? This is coming from oil producers. Dice prior emittance inflows surged by 130% to $553 million in July, says the Central Bank of Nigeria. The big story on the paper, terrorism financing allegation, fresh showdown looms between federal government and labor. NLC talks tough vows to ground Nigeria if anything happens to Ajero. Falana replies police reveals when Nigeria will be available. Amnesty International accuses federal government of trying to cripple labor. You can find all the details on page two. Corruption case appeal court orders Yahya Bello to appear in court. On Edo election, INEC releases voters register to parties. Appeal court upholds Philip Shaibu as Edo state deputy governor and then we have um, uh, an entertainment story Lakatabu hits 200 million naira in Nigerian box office details can be found on page 19 a picture story towards a viable police force where we can see secretary to the government of the federation senator george akume in a chat with the inspector general of police kayode betoko at the police presentation of readings in police peace in policing peace and security in honor of the igp this happened in abuja yesterday and that's all the news on the metrics newspaper all right let's take a look at daily sun newspaper no deal with headsmen Southeast monarchs in seas. You can find details of that on page four. Terrorism allegation. NLC president gives police August 29 appointment. Union said for strike. With the right Jero to honor the invitation. We have CIS LAC says allegation desperate attempt to silence labor. Detail on page six as well as on page 26. Catholic bishops made over state of the nation and others. And we have wiki exit needed for PDP survivor. Clark tells the active chairman. And a good government to pull down properly use of um, kidnapping in Enugu. And a good government to pull down property used for kidnapping in Enugu state. We have the AGF office has no record of the ex chief justice of Nigeria. On Nogue's CCT um, case file, you can find that on page four. FEC revenue faces decline as NNPCL redirects 3.4 trillion naira in remittance to first subsidy. Petrol landing costs hit 1,175 to a liter, a liter, and then subsidy 607 uh, naira to a liter. Data found on page 25. Abia records 13 suspected cases of monkeypox open a treatment center. And I hope that with this, we begin to see more states having a center just in case. We are not praying, but we need to be prepared for the any, any eventuality that might come up regarding the monkeypox case. So we hope that all the commissioners of health are on their tool to do something, making sure that there are enough vaccine and whatever that is needed to fight this monkeypox. Still on Daily Sun newspaper, federal government set up 10-man panel to enforce Supreme Court judgment on the local government autonomy. 
We have a picture three here, the Vice President Kashim Shetima receiving the Acting High Commissioner, United Republic of Tanzania to Nigeria, Ms. Judy Carr, and the former president of the country, Jakaya, during the visit to the Vice President in Abuja yesterday. And that's all on Daily Sun newspaper. On the Nation newspaper, NNPCL petrol sells for half its landing cost. More details can be found on page two. And then we have a picture story where it's taking most of the front page. More Yobe farmers take delivery of Governor May Mala Doni's agri environment empowerment implement input across more local government areas and we have pictures showing and uh, different local government areas and the empowerment implements that they are getting from the governor of Yobi state and that's all the news on the nation newspaper on this day newspaper cbn declares 553 dollar million remittance inflow amid fx revenue cbn declares 553 million dollars remittance inflow amidst the forex reform and we have coming from the transmission of nigeria ni um, 1.7 trillion naira required to complete 129 ongoing transmission project nationwide seen on this day newspaper sun activists and others give incoming cgn kakeri edu six months timeline to initiate reforms peter fan on page 12. Coming from Clark, he said, we came must leave PDP for the party to survive. Party in our great disciplinary reconciliation committee today. Still on this day newspaper, the big story. NLC seek time extension for Ajero to honor the police invitation. Threatening strike. We have AI accuses federal government of targeting labor leaders attempting to cripple the union. And as well, we are seeing the ITUC condemns alleged intimidation of trade unions later found in the paper. And we have the PDP Board of Trustee on fact-finding mission visit Fubara, where we can see the Governor of River State together with some of the Board of Trustees that came over to see him. And coming from Musawa, she's saying we are facilitating $100 billion investment opportunities for culture, creative industry, players, data found on page 8. And that's all in this day newspaper. On Daily News Hub, I'm not leaving PDP, Fubara assures the Board of Trustee. The big story on the paper will cripple Nigeria if Ajero is arrested, detained, NLC vows, as Congress President Fixix day to honor police invitation. Explains reason for turning down police inv invitation, police victimizing us over hashtag end bad governance protest. Nigerian government targeting NLC leaders, Amnesty International alleges. And regardless of what um, the government is trying to do here, I don't think this threat from labor is appropriate whatsoever. Um, what the government is accusing your leader for is sensitive. We're looking at terrorism. We're looking at treasonable felony. We, we saw that on the paper yesterday. And it is one of those kind of accusations. In as much as, yes, you can say, okay, the government is trying to go at you. We saw the raid of the complex saying they're trying to get an international criminal. And now all of a sudden he's back to Joe. He's invited for um, questioning and all of that. And then he's declining it. However, I don't find it, I don't find it right that NLC is saying they will cripple the economy or they will go on a strike. They will shut down if the government calls or arrest um, their leader. It sounds like um, there's no difference between you now and the government mm -hmm. if you feel that you are in a position to abuse your power. Because his arrest is not what you are fighting for. It's not a national problem. It's not, inf it's not inflation. It's not bad governance. It's not bad policy. So when you decide to go on a strike, then you're just bought. If you threaten this way, you're just bought abusing and, and, and power that you have. Because now this is more between you as a union and the federal government. And you tackle it that way in a very diplomatic 
systematic and strategic way and you just have to find a way around it rather than saying you will use your force to cripple the country if certain things happen if you as a union can sit down and tell the government you know what you're not doing this you need to answer to us i believe that when the government comes at you regardless of what their motive is saying you know what we also need to check you the same way i think you want the government to cooperate with you it's time for you to also cooperate with them and in the end if the same way you think okay the government either do this comes out clean or do this and it's the same thing expected from you i think this is this is where nlc will also will show nigerians that they do know what they're doing and they haven't been whatsoever any way abuse of power because either way everything is is, is sleepy right now in this country and um, more than ever before the tuc i mean nlc trade union altogether they have to rather than sound this way find a way of letting nigerians know that they won't abuse power because when they begin to do it, um, the government would have something more concrete in the future against them than whatever is about to happen. I don't want to be very, you know, um, I don't want to be quick to pass any judgment concerning this ritual. But I'll say this, for the police to invite Ajero over for an interview and they listed the charges, based on the fact that terrorism, financing, criminal conspiracy, reasonable federal, cyber crime, and these were the things, just like you said earlier, were the things that they linked that international terrorist with. And we clearly remember when the police came out to say that it has nothing to do with labor. There was just someone who was using that complex mm -hmm. to hide. Now, all of a sudden, we're having the police inviting him over. For them to invite him over, that is to say they have done their fact check is expected that you have done all that is needed and you have the facts that yes his name has been associated he has things you bring out evidence not just words of mouth you bring out evidence it's expected that on our papers we should see this and this and this you remember the issue of the yabalu we had facts he used this money to send his kids and then he responded. And we saw the way he was running around and you and I said that rather than running, why don't you just honor the invitation? Clear your name if you have nothing. Bring your own receipt and your own facts. The fact that this money was for my own personal account. I paid my child school fees. I did this. And then you prove the police wrong that what you're accusing me of is wrong. But I've not seen the police of Nigeria bringing out the facts apart from the fact that they listed. Bring out paper facts. We're in this country whereby we see, just like you are against NLC using their power, which of course they shouldn't. We, we know what even just this simple how many days of protest cost us in the economy. Just when we, a number of people say, okay, things should have been better, but we're seeing that things went back to the way we are fighting it. But when we're fighting it for things, we're just fighting it for the government to know that Nigerians are really not happy with the way things are happening. And no wonder I love the way they tag it. Hashtag aim bad governance if we've not been having governance. So what am I trying to say in a nutshell is the fact that let us see both. Let us see the NLC, just like you said, being diplomatic about it. As well, let us see the police getting their facts clear. Let us have evidence before you go ahead. We don't want to come out and say no just because of this. It's more like you're contradicting what you say. Say you're after someone else. So that is to say the person you're after mm -hmm. was actually a general, not a terrorist. Why don't we have the name of that terrorist? Mm, so you get the way things are. You remember the issue of MFLA where we saw immediately after his case in the court. It's expected that he goes back to prison. But we saw where the DSS were harassing him. If there was more like a saga the and the trouble battle between, between the, the correctional and the service correctional, and yeah. the DS, and we're not supposed to see that. Mm. Nigerians came out and say, "Is the DS is now becoming talks? Don't you have a way?" And then we saw where the boss come out, came out actually, and said, "We're sorry for all of this." So we don't want to hear we are sorry. Have your facts clear. Is his name associated truly, or you just want to interview and ask him 
why do we have this character? Why do we have the steroids in your complex? You're supposed to have asked him question before housing him and all of that. Let us see our police being very intelligent because I know they are intelligent. So let of us course. see that. But for now, I'm just going to hold it here and let me see how the whole interview will be. But I hope that NLC will not try to creep our economy at of the end of the day. Still on daily news, hop. Don't team up with Wiki to destroy PDP, Clark's warns Damagun revealed. U.S. President still using 34-year-old plane, but Nigeria abandoned 19-year-old aircraft. Police exonerate Mobile C, Tingo over alleged fraudulent diversion of financial report. Her NNPC's dividends, taxes will ease federal government's financial woes. This is a statement from Chuku. Produce yourself for arraignment, appeal court, orders ex Kogi Governor Yahaya Bellu. Quara female student acting as girlfriend for 15,000 Naira murdered. Cops found in dump site. Governor Abiodun confirms Ogun Red Death says incident shocking. Nigerian arrested for stealing 10 million US dollars in US unemployment benefits. Still on the paper, impeachment against Shaibu floors Edo Assembly at Appeal Court. It's victory for all Edo says APC Chair Tenebe. Zanfara flawed Matawale donates 20 million Naira to Gumi victims. And also a picture where we can see from left to right a delegation of the People's Democratic Party Board of Trustees led by their chairman, Senator Adolphus Wabara, during a visit to the River State Governor Siminalai Fubara at the government house in Potakot yesterday. And that's all the news on Daily News Hub. Right, let's take a look at first news. Appeal court orders Yahya Bellu to submit self arraignment detail found in the paper. Expel WK to ensure PDP survivor Clark urges the party chairman. Wave of terror in Christina, governor's aide wife killed over, over 28 abducted in escalating bandit attack. Federal government slashing score 29 expenditure savings over 10 billion naira detail found in the paper. CBN records unprecedented 130% surge in remittance inflow from July 2024. The Big Story on Local Government Autonomy, SGF, inaugurates committee to enforce Supreme Court judgment. As well, we are having Nigeria's snob police invitation, demands details of allegation, NLC threatening nationwide strike. Appeal Court upholds Philip Shaibo as Edu Deputy Governor. And on the fourth scarcity, was it? If man blames NNPCL for no supply anywhere, detail found in the paper. We still have the picture story where we can see the board, board of trustee in Portacod yesterday during their visit to the River State Governor Fubara. And that's all in First News newspaper. A new Telegraph newspaper prolongs scarcity looms as import drops by 33% for PMS. Enhanced forex inflow pushes remittances to $553 million, a report from the Central Bank of Nigeria. Hearing of Onogen's appeal stalled over missing CCT case file. SGF chairs 10-man interministerial panel to enforce Supreme Court ruling on local government autonomy. And will set to demolish properties used for kidnapping. Enemies of democracy mustn't be allowed to derail the process, statement from Falana. The big story on the paper, alleged terrorism financing and others will shut down economy if a euro is arrested. NLC once calls on state council affiliate unions to mobilize members, asks federal government to stop witch hunting labor leaders. Ajero gives own date to honor police invitation. ITUC condemns ongoing intimidation of trade unions in Nigeria. You can read all the details of the big story on page two and four. On COP29, Tinubu orders scrutiny and pruning of delegates to save 10 billion naira. Remember when he. <laughs> exactly, but that wasn't the case in the odd in cop for last year 28 yeah. where we saw over 514 delegates mm -hmm. and nigerians there was just so much uproar concerning why are we carrying the whole asufila for a climate um conference and i believe that um the government don't want that same scrutiny because we remembered 
what it was like just shortly after assuming office few months into it and we have thousands of people going in the federal government claim there was over a thousand but then the federal government claimed that those that were on their own sponsorship was just 514 and still yet the question is we're talking about climate change and what are the results of it so far because when you attend such things it's expected that you come back and start implementing certain things because it's a global climate change issue and problem and it is going to move down to us and so far so good for those that have traveled we we haven't seen much yet we're still struggling with flood however there are other climate issues that we also stand to be endangered by it so i i it's, it's a good thing to see that the mm. government is trying to run away from past scrutiny and then saving 10 billion and there right, it's a good one although we do not know how much how many will be people spent, actually uh, are going and, and how, how much, much will be spent, spent. we just year. know that 10 billion naira will mm. be saved but then it's still a good one you can find details on page two INEC presents update voters registered to political parties concerning Edo Guba. Appeal court reaffirms Shaibu's reinstatement as Edo deputy governor. Nigerian arrested in U.S. for stealing $10 million unemployment benefits. Probe expel WK for anti-party conduct. Clark charges PDP accuses Damagun Ayawu of being willing tools. Party Broad of Tusty meets Fubara over alleged defection to APP pledges to resolve party crisis. There is a study that says diet main risk factor for colon cancer. So you have to watch your diet. You, you stand the risk of having colon cancer. Details can be found on page 29 and that's all the news on New Telegraph newspaper. Nigerian News Direct newspaper or shown APC PDP clashes over NSE validation on a delicate project. You can find that on page 4. Alleged 80 billionaire fraud appeal court orders the Ayabedu to stand trial. You can read that on page 4. Alleged terrorism financing. We have Falana CSO weighed in as NLC threat is shut down over a Jero's invitation. And the NLC to its members is a be on red alert for nationwide action. If Comrade Ajero is arrested and Fallon is saying Ajero can't honor put this invitation due to prior engagement. And we have CSO demand open investigation into the allegation. You can find that on page four. Legal stack force cracks down on petrol hawkers, seizes 2,000 liters. You can find that on page four. And I hope other states will do the same as well. Nigeria to save 10 billion naira with launch of climate accountability porter. And we have on the LPG, 12 kg of cooking gas price saw by 55% in one year. Coming from the MBS, which we're seeing the price varies depending on where you're buying it from. So you can read more detail of that on page four. And we have a picture story here, which you can do well to grab the paper and read more detail of a story that is of interest to you. On the Daily Times newspaper, AGF office has no record of ex-CJN on again CCT case file five years after. Appeal court orders ex-governor Yahya Bello to face criminal arraignment. Details can be found on page five. KB government denounces new salary tables circulating on social media. On COP29, Tenebu approves climate accountability portal to enhance transparency. Nigerian banks' assets surged to 121 trillion in 2023, half of national GDP. The big story on the paper crossfire arrest a Gerald Ricks nationwide strike, NLC DS police. He will be prepared for police interview August 29, Falana is saying. We came must go for PDP to survive, Edwin Clark is saying, vows he won't be allowed to destabilize Fubara's government. FAAN slams states for building non-viable airports or just business plans before federal take over. And we have pictures seen after Operation Delta Sanity forward operating base, Formoso discovered and deactivated an illegal refining site in Bielsa State with four refining ovens laden with an unspecified quantity of illegally refined diesel. And that's all the news on the Daily Times newspaper.
All right, let's take a look at another people, which is the voice of Liberty. We are selling petrol at half the landing cost, but it's no subsidy. Report coming from NNPCL, which they said that it's as a result of the shortfall that they are not paying subsidy, that nobody has received a dime for the past eight to nine months that the fuel subsidy was removed. So you can read more detail what the NNPCL is saying regarding that. And on insecurity, terrorists killed four soldiers in Sokoto, four police officers in Enugu State. On the issue of the local government autonomy, federal government raised 10-member committee to enforce Supreme Court judgment. NLC direct workers to shut, their, to shut the economy if its president, Najero, is detained by police, Peter Fan. In the paper, the leadership of the Nigerian Labour Congress have issued a stare warning of a potential nationwide strike if the Nigerian police proceed with detaining its president, Drew Ajero, detailed in the paper. Coming from Christina State, terrorists abduct a woman, had two newborn babies in Kofai, detailed in the paper. And on 2027, don't seek re election, emulate Joe Biden, CSU tells Tinibu. Rivers crisis will consume Wiki Damakum. This is coming from Clark D. His warning. As well, we see present yourself for arraignment, appeal court orders, fugitive Yahaya Bello, Dito Fan in the paper, and that's all on the voice of liberty. On Daily Independent newspaper, Rivers crisis will consume Wiki Damagun Clark once, accuses Wiki Damagun Ayawu of anti party activities. Nigeria's future bleak if PDP loses rivers, says Board of Trustee Chair. New presidential jet unnecessary waste of resources. This is coming from aviation experts. The big story on the paper, federal government moves to enforce Supreme Court verdict on local government autonomy, raises 10-man interministerial committee led by Akume, implements plan to save 10 billion naira from COP29 expenses. Appeal court to firm Shaibu as Edo deputy governor. Alleged terrorism financing, Ajero makes U-turn accepts to honor police invitation August 29. ITUC condemns intimidation of trade unions in Nigeria. We don't have record of ex-CJN or no against CCT case file, uh, the AGF is saying. Tenable makes fresh top appointment for DBI and IIGCOMSAT. Details can be found on page 6. We don't have ver verifiable data in housing sector, Minister laments. Dice prior remittances grows by 130%, hits all-time high of $553 million in July. Nigerian arrested for $10 million pandemic unemployment scam in the U.S. Details can be found on page 6 and that's all the news on Daily Independent newspaper. Right before we continue further with the paper review, let's take a break to let you go through the stories, the threats coming from the NLC as well as we are saying that um, concerning COP29 where we are saving about 10 billion naira from the climate um, whatever meeting we're having. So when we come back, we'd love to hear your own views and then we'll continue with the paper review. Please stay tuned with us. The Gospel of Jesus Christ is our Heavenly Father's plan for the happiness and salvation of His children. Equa Television International shares the Gospel of Jesus Christ because the world must come to the realization of the power in the atonement of sin through the grace and mercy of Jesus Christ, sharing with the world the message of hope that can clean anyone from sin to enjoy the peace that is in Him. Equa Television International is live 247, preaching the message of salvation and truth to the world. Pray for Equa TV. Support Equa TV. Be part of Equa TV. Keep watching Echo Television International.
Thanks for staying tuned in still that ladies. We have been looking at a number of stories on the front page of the paper, which we would love you to be part of. Drop your comment, your views on any of the story that is of interest to you. I still have Rachel Tazi with me. Thank you so much. You're Rachel. welcome, Sarah. All right, we will continue the paper review looking at a punch newspaper. Here we have producers decline sale of 460,000 barrel per day of crook to Dongote and others. Data found on page 25. And on forex shortage, domestic airlines ground 42 aircraft. Akume Edu lead the local government autonomy implementation panel. As well in the paper, the big story, NNPC report 9.3 trillion Naira petrol import as queues linger. Petrol subsidy gobs 3.3 trillion Naira, NNPC incurs 1.8 trillion Naira energy security costs. Port Harcourt worried therefore receive PMS tax force arrest black marketers. We have picture stories to showing us the queues in Lagos precisely. We have five banks budget 222 billion naira for cyber security. One dies as Ogun Hunter and Headers clash. And on 2027, APC kicks as PDP backs call for Jonathan's return. You can find detail of that in the paper and that's all on the punch newspaper. On Nigerian Tribune, appeal court upholds judgment nullifying Shaigu's impeachment as Edo deputy governor. U.S. announces $27 million humanitarian aid for Nigeria. Akume Edun Kadoso Fabemi seeks others to enforce Supreme Court judgment on local government autonomy. Ondo establishes Omotekun Rangers to curb forest crime. Ododo appoints 1,102 aides. Enugu government set to demolish property used for kidnapping. The big story on the paper, police versus Ajero, NLC's 54 affiliate unions threaten mass action if, says invitation politically motivated. NLC's council right, IGP, says Ajero will appear next week. Stop this intimidation, judicial harassment, ITC tells federal government. CBN records all-time high remittance inflows of $553 million in July. 21-year-old undergraduate contracted to act as girlfriend killed by ritualist in Quara. Lekki communities, family give Lagos government 30-day ultimatum over land acquisition. Fubara denies plan to dump PDP. Wiki must go for PDP to survive, Clark tells Damogun in open letter. Five years after trial, AGF office has no record of XCJN on again CCT case file. And that's all in news on Nigerian Tribune. On the leadership newspaper, NCC orders telecoms to block stolen SIMs in five minutes. No record of ex-Chief Justice of Nigeria's Onoge CCTV, um, CCT case file. Coming for Fabi Me, which is Antoine General of Federation, due to fan on page 16. Trending will be raised concern over the recent YX result and the numbers 150 billion Naira loan um, for manufacturers MBMS shifted to September, due to fan in the paper on page 4. Marketers profiteering. And we have Petchan worsening for scarcity. Marketers profiteering. Petran was the end of fraud scarcity data found on page 8. Labor CSO films over police invitation to the NLC president. And on 2027, Shakaru Ado Yankasa Tafida orders flood Northern Democrats. 221 register as LND members mobilized for strategic summit. Engage key stakeholders for support. We are worried about insecurity, hunger, and poverty, data found in the paper. And on COP29, Nigeria to save 10 billion naira from cutting costs, data in the paper. New Netcon chairman, Sali Usman Visit Ganduji. As well, we have UPEC to unveil 12 smart schools. You can find that on page 25. Federal government inaugurates committee to enforce local government autonomy. We have a picture story here. This is showing us um, people collecting water from the tap at Muji Camp for the internal displaced people. 
amid outbreak of monkeypox. Um, this is happening at the Republic of Congo. And I wonder why they are so tight like this, despite the fact that um, that has been the epic center for the monkeypox. You can do well, grab a paper in more detail of any story that is of interest to you. On Blueprint newspaper, bank assets rise to 121.8 trillion naira in 2023. We have no record of XCJN on again CCT case file. Remittance inflows hit all-time high $553 million July 2024. Afcon qualifiers new Super Eagles coach Anderson misses opening match. Federal government inaugurates 10-man implementation committee on local government autonomy. The big story, independent petroleum producers, crude supply to Dongote refinery, orders must be on willing buyer and willing seller basis. NNPCL explains 7.2% stake in Dongote refinery. One private sector can't be used to subsidize another statement from IPPG. ITUC, NLC, CIS, LAC cry foul over Ajero's police invitation. Labels once threatened sh shutdown and CSO urges transparency. A client will appear August 29, Falana writes police. Nigeria records more cholera cases as death toll increases. Appeal court affirms Shaibu as Edo deputy governor. Federal government taking liabilities of on viable airports, says fan. More details can be found on page six. Cooking gas price dropped 5 kg now 5,974 naira as against 6,966 naira in July. And that's all the news on Blueprint newspaper. On the Vanguard newspaper, diaspora remittance rise by 130% to $553 million in July. This report is coming from the Central Bank of Nigeria. Police again fails to arraign protesters, says activist Idea Drew Dieter on Pit 6. And on the cost of governance, we will cut 10 billion naira from COP29 expenses. Three years on the throne, the hardest lesson I've learned coming from Ulu of Worry Dieter on Pit 23. Police invitation to Ajero, we won't be silent, coming from the NLC. Direct workers to shut down the economy if Ajero is arrested as global workers group CSO orders raise alarm over worsening right abuse in Nigeria. Why Ajero turned down the police invitation coming from Falana demands full detail and, niche and the nature of the allegation. Says Ajero can only honor invitation August 29. And coming from the at the PFN to Tinubu, Nigerians are hungry, hasting renew hope agenda. Detail on page 10. Right way, Tesla, okay, the right of way, Tesla threatening Nigerians telecom sector. You can find that on page 14. We have a column coming from Afe Baba Lola and as well on sport, where we're looking at the 2025 20, AFCON qualifiers, NFF still searching for coach. As Fanana, um, the Bafana Bafana name squad detail found on page four to six. We have a picture story call up technologies visit MPA. You can find more detail in the paper, and that's all on the Vanguard newspaper. On the Guardian newspaper, custom spot rates adoption. Duty FX rates shift 100 times in 2024, spike prices of goods by 120%. Price remains sticky over high FX rate, frequent changes, and uncertainty. And then we have monthly average duty foreign exchange rate from the month of January to August. In January, it was at 951 Naira. In February, it was 1,303 Naira. To a dollar in March, it was 1,630 Naira. April 1,240 Naira in May, those 1,363 Naira in June, we have 1,504 Naira as against the dollar, July 1,528 and for the month of August right now we are seeing it at 1,598 um, Naira to a dollar. Why environmental impact reports are failing stress test, NNPC OPEX salaries hit 2.9 trillion naira in 2023, up by 70 percent. 
don't provoke strike with handling of Algeria's invitation, NLC cautions police. Appeal court affirms Shaibu as Edo deputy governor overturns Bello's ruling. Northern leaders meet over region's future. Admit hardship, Bauchi distributes SUVs to six emirs. Tenibu's foreign trip cost Nigeria 2.3 billion naira in six months. And that's all the news on the Guardian newspaper. On Sweet Crew Report, we have Namasa petition UN over imposition of war rig framed charges for Nigeria data found in the paper. Nigeria inaugurates $500 million power transmission project for Lagos Ogun Industrial Corridor. Nigeria targets 54% LPG usage in national clean cooking policy and as well reps to liaise with NNPC, IOC on Oguni clean up funding. More details found in the paper and that's all on Sweet Group Report. On the Business Times, how domestic dollar bond will impact Nigeria's economy? Statement from Waleke. NNPC Limited is not paying subsidy. IGI is assuring Nigerians. The big story on the paper, viable airports, air transport, key to economic growth. List stunted growth policy somersaults others as challenges to airport viability. Nigerian banks' assets surged to 121 trillion naira in 2023, reaching half of national GDP. Federal government offers dollar-denominated FGN bond valued at $500 million for subscription. Number of youths not in employment, education, or training costs for concern despite a um, falling jobless rate. NLNG inaugurates 10,000 tons galvanized plant for train seven project. Federal government deploy latest IP version for better network and transactions. Details can be found on page two. We have a picture where we can see the former Tanzanian president, um, Jakaya Mirisho Kiwete, left and vice president Kashim Shetima during a courtesy visit at the presidential villa in Abuja yesterday. And that's all the news on the Business Times newspaper. Still on the world of business on Business Day newspaper, goals of First Bank legal battles return to horn AGMM capital raise data found on page 30. Tenable's petrol subsidy go up 15 trillion naira as scarcity worsen. Economists say subsidy haunting, uh, haunting the government's revenue Economy says the subsidy is hurting the government revenue. As well, we have the countdown to Port Harcourt refinery opening, which is about 11 days from now. What to know about a $500 million domestic dollar bond? Detail in the paper, how we are facilitating $100 billion opportunity in creative industry coming from Musawa. You can find that on page 32. We have a future station of um, participants of the international conference on natural law and human dignity after their tour. You know, um, this happened at the Pan um, University in Lagos recently, and that's all on the Business Day newspaper. On Ponspot Extra, I think Osime should come and ask someone like me what indiscipline has cost me in football. Ex-Nigerian international Etim Essin weighs in on Napoli star's lingering transfer. You can find all the details of what his thoughts are on page 7. AFN silent over controversial Ophili. NBBF must build on the Tigers' Olympics feet. Lukman reaches salary agreement with PSG. Juventus face major Stalin huddle. PSG rigs UCL ban over 55 million euros Mbappe debt. We have Oroko Dare jokes about joining Madrid. Details can be found on page 6. Folding beats Haaland to PFA award. Boso Ilechiku denies Super Eagles link. No domestic violence charges against Anthony. Baka consider Leo beat Joshua best at face. This is a statement from Parker. And Abdullahi saying watermelon seller who became sporting Lagos star. Rather, Abdullahi, a watermelon seller who became sporting Lagos star. Sina cleared of doping violation. Details can be found on page two. And that's all the news on Point Sport Extra. All right, let's round up with the Nature newspaper. 
We have a look at what's happening towards our environment. Nigerian government set up climate portal to stem wasteful spending on COP29 youth of fun in the paper. Niger government partner Sunes Farm laps to drive agri innovation. The big story on the paper reaction trace nature news integrity certification by the JTI. And here we are seeing the Minister of Environment saying, I am honestly not surprised with this achievement. It is a well deserved certification. Since I started associating with you, I have seen your strong friendship for excellence and integrity. Please accept my congratulations on this milestone. You can read more detail of that on page 3. DRAC Commonwealth Support for Environmental Justice Claim. And we have Wilpan President Seek Recognition Support for 13,000 members. Ogun commenced harvest of 200 hectares of rice farm. Kebi community resident drink on safe water, battle waterborne diseases. We hope that the Kebi government will take this seriously. UNICEF ILO reps loan waste pickers on sanitation. And we have other stories on the front page. You can do well to grab the paper and read more detail of any of the story that is of interest to you. And that's how far we can go on the program. Thank you, Rachel, for doing this. You're welcome, Celeste. Thank you to our viewers, our supporters, and to the entire production crew. We look forward again to doing this tomorrow. Do have a great day ahead.